Hi Aquarius, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I am here to do your reading for the 12th through the 18th of November. This is for Aquarius Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. This reading is not a private reading, so it may not be for you. It could be, but it may not be. We're just going to see whatever comes up. I focus on love. You know, sometimes that doesn't happen. I'm not going to take those. I have to feel it. And let's see, Aquarius. Aquarius. What does Aquarius need to know for the week of the 12th to the 18th? You could be dealing with a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, but this also could signify somebody that has lost confidence. Self-esteem, self-worth, gone. No ambition, no energy. I don't have the energy to deal with this shit. But you got to have faith. You have to believe. And you have to listen to your inner guide. Somebody's not making the right judgment call. Hiding something. Somebody's hiding something. Woo! With a world card. Reverse. Uh-oh. Mm. Refusing to make some a final decision of some sort. Oh, God. Denial. Denial. Somebody's in denial. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Uh, somebody is in denial about something. And it's like their inner guide is telling them, but they're not listening. Refusing to wake up. Lack of awareness here. And here's your denial. Oh, boy. You could be, tell you could be dealing with a woman who is lying to you, just saying. Or is uh, hindering you from... Success, you may have somebody in your life that is holding you back from success. I mean, the Queen of Wands in reverse is somebody who is in a miserable state of mind. She's feeling miserable, you know. So. Hmm. Could be somebody you work with. Yeah, you have a menace. You a menace. Somebody that is causing troublemaker. Causing troublemaker. It's a troublemaker. You got a troublemaker in the mix. Somebody who's very immature. And they don't want you to be successful. Could be somebody you work with, like I said. They don't want you to be happy. They don't want you to receive any rewards. <laughs> They're jealous. They are jealous. That's funny. I mean, it's not funny. But they're jealous of you. They're stealing your energy and you're allowing it. That's why this is here. And you may <coughs> not want to believe that they're out to hurt you. And that's maybe where the denial comes in. But you do have somebody here that doesn't like you and it's, you need to wake up upright. This is a wake up call. You have this person that is in the mix that is not on your side. So be careful who you tell your secrets to. This is secrets. Be careful. Because this person, you got a jealous woman around you. Period. For man or woman, you got a jealous woman who is not your friend. Okay. Just got to tell you that. You need to know. And I do believe it is somebody that you work with. I really, really, really do. And it's a competition of some sort. They don't want you to get their job or they don't want you to get more money. It has to do with money, I believe. It's somebody that you work with. Something like that. Um... Yeah, they don't want you to climb the ladder. They don't want you to get ahead of them. This is a boss. I'm not saying that it is your boss. It's somebody that doesn't want you to be in charge of them. So they're trying to bring you down. They may be spreading lies about you or, 
you know, whatever they can do to keep you down. And it's going to be hard because you have a lot of confidence. And I think that you ha you do. And it shows that you have confidence. And I think the people that you work with see that you have confidence. But this other person is so jealous that they're spreading rumors about you or whatever. They're trying. They may even try to sabotage you at work. Be careful. Be careful, Aquarius. Okay. You've had this going on for a long time. You must have somebody, you must be really looking good or doing a really good job or something because you've got somebody that, and everywhere you go at work, I think that, I mean, it's just like, they're like, I hate that bitch. You know what I mean? Or I hate that whatever for no reason. Pure jealousy. Pure jealousy, whether it's a man or a woman, you know, they're, they're so jealous. But anyway, that's clear. Anyhow, um, we're supposed to be talking about love here. But there's no love in these cards. There's no cups. Anyway, no cups at all. So I do believe this is in regards to work. But as far as love, you may be lacking in the love arena. I don't, there's no love. Maybe your job is so stressful that you don't have time for love. Oh, goodness. We have this Three of Cups, but it's reversed. It's like you're not getting the love. You know, this is no nothing to celebrate. Now, let's talk about love. Let's talk about love. What about love for Aquarius? Love. What's this hair from? This is faith. You need to have faith. You need to believe in yourself. You need to put time and effort. Into really listening to, your, to yourself. To following your own path. Okay? Because, I mean, here we have a contradiction. A true contradiction. Okay? This is intuition. This is inner guide. Okay. Your your intuition is telling you to do something and you're not listening, even though you're hearing it. Remember I said denial? Start listening to what you're hearing inside your gut. Okay? Are you putting in effort only to your job? Is your job draining your energy to the point that you can't invest any of your time into a relationship, into love? Now, this is a secret, and this is a secret. There's there's some kind of secret here. Yes, this is the investing that I was telling you about. It's like there's no love here because you don't you're drained probably when you get home because these are these blood suckers that you're dealing with. You it's like because your your work situation is so dissatisfying, you may not be feeling like you can even focus on love at all yeah you're feeling very cold at this point like and I'm not saying that on purpose it's not that you want that I don't think that's what you want but you're probably feeling very alone your thoughts are focused on this situation that is unfulfilling right it's it's very there's a lot of drama involved and it's affecting your love life because there's no love in these cards we do have this man down here that's on your side. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. It can be any man. But whoever this man is, this is the overall outcome right here. It's stability. It's security. Your job is secure, so don't think that it's not. This, don't, this person, the boss in this situation, sees what this other person is doing. The boss or the, the authority figure in this situation sees what this other person's intentions are. Even though this other person doesn't know it. The the authority figure sees this person's stupidity. So rest assured, your job is secure by the looks of things. I feel like you may need to assert yourself a little bit more. But because the situation is so taxing on you, it is definitely affecting your love life. And because you're having to defend yourself constantly, constantly, constantly. 
And if this could pertain to love. I don't know. You may be in a committed relationship where there's secrets. You know there's some secrets and you know there's another woman. Okay, this could... Now we're getting another story. I don't know where that came from. Because we, I just saw this woman. Here's you. You may know that there's another woman. You may be in a marriage or a commitment and you know there's another woman. Damn it. But you may be denying that there's another woman because you don't want to believe it. Oh, God. You know, that could be the case. And this could be the man down here that has a choice between two women. There is a man here that has a choice between two women, whether it's your husband or your partner. I mean, now we're changing this. I don't, that's weird how that just changed. That happens a lot because we got m multiple people watching this. Thousands of people. It's gonna, the story is going to change. The, the, I can't even speak now. It's like, oh my God, there's two women here. And you may be in a commitment and you know there's another woman. So keep that. Keep that in mind. And you may be ready to, oh God, get a divorce. Now this is the hair font. This is the hair font. You got it twice. Break up this commitment. You may decide to get uncommitted to this. You know, there could be a, you could be involved in a situation that is very dissatisfying. You might be ready to say goodbye. You know, I'm not. I'm gonna break up. We're gonna get a divorce. I'm not gonna deal with this. You know. Now here is about getting ready. Getting ready to make a move. To move on. To go in a new direction. I think you're thinking about turning your back on this situation, whatever it is, whether it's work or love. You're thinking about turning your back and going in a new direction. Because you're you're not being treated fairly wherever you're at. I there's a divorce here or a split for some people. There absolutely is. Okay, there is. And I think that there's there's uh, somebody's not being treated fairly. And there's definitely some lies here. There's there's no doubt. But there's lies and secrets underneath with the with the high priestess. That's secrets as well. There's lies and secrets, and somebody is not. Well, they may sense the truth, but they're in denial about the truth. Okay? Maybe your inner guide is saying, you know, there's something wrong here. And you're like, no, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to pretend there isn't. That's where dead and denial comes in. So, uh, you know, there could be a divorce on the horizon. You could be talking about it or you'd be, there could be a final decision. But then with the world card, so it's like there's a lack of finality. Somebody is is needing some sort of closure they're needing to complete this complete this cycle this phase but they're not doing it they're not making the right judgment call you you have to wake up and face the music and deal with injustice to have victory and success and you know that takes might, you might have to be assertive to, to do that, you know. You may have to be assertive to have the success that you deserve. You're going to have to probably take a stand by the looks of things. You know, I think there's, there's some sort of undesirable news you're going to receive. Some sort of message, whether it's internally from your gut or from another person as well, that, you know, does it make you feel good you may be in denial you may not want to hear this message whatever it is yeah okay five of you, you're going to begin to realize that you have another opportunity and you may be beginning to realize that right now whether this is job or love you do have another opportunity that's better for you and this is beginning to realize it becoming out of the darkness you are going to come out of the darkness because i think there's going to be some sort of lie that is revealed that pushes you in a new direction.
whatever this is, everything is going to be fine. You're going to get what you deserve out of it. You're not going to be lacking, so don't worry about that. You, Everything is going to be absolutely fine. But it may cause a move. Somebody may, may make a move. I mean, literally move, physically move. Like you move out of that job, maybe quit, or you move out of that house, or your partner moves, or somebody, you know, may be moving. But in the end, there's going to be love. You're going to get what you deserve. Like I said, you're going to get deserve. You're going to get what you deserve, which is, which is love. A new opportunity for love. A fulfilling situation. Something that is emotionally fulfilling where there's a full cup. I mean, it's, a, it's an offer that is so extravagant. But to get this offer, you have to complete one cycle first. You need to complete one situation. And by not doing so, you can't get this. You have to make the decision, and somebody hasn't made the decision, to do the right thing. You have to do the right thing for you to get what you deserve, which is true love. And that may mean that you have to move And come out of this darkness. You're going to have to take steps to have victory and success in love. So I feel like this is a time of making a difficult decision in which you have been postponing. You've been postponing it. Perhaps trying to deny it. Perhaps waiting for things to change because of a commitment that you were in. You committed to it, right? Stand by your commitments. But when you learn of deceit and you learn of deception and you learn that this person is not on your side, it may just push you over the edge into the, you know, unknown. But when you step over that finish line and you deal with this injustice and you deal with the courts or whatever it is that you're going to have to deal with, you know, you deal with the loss that, you know, you, you're going to, there is a loss here. There is a loss, but you're going to get what you deserve out of it. It's going to be equal. It's not like you're not going to get what you deserve. It's, things will be, whatever happens, you're going to get your fair share. Anyway, in the end, you're actually going to get more than your fair share because you're going to get the love that you the love that you deserve. But you are going to have to take that step over the finish line and as of yet I feel like you haven't found the energy, the energy, the confidence, the ambition to do so. So this is a week of making a decision. based on your gut defending yourself this is a card of deception don't deceive yourself somebody is deceiving you and you know it Maybe it's, this is just self-deceit. Anyway, there's an opportunity for love around the corner. On the outside of this situation that hasn't been dealt with yet. It's on the outside. To get what you deserve, you're going to have to decide to make a move. The power is in your hand. Do you want this love or not? The, the, the most emotionally fulfilling situation you could possibly get is in reach. You have to, it's up to you to assert yourself. That's all there is to it.
I wonder if this opportunity will slip away if you keep waiting. It's a terrible injustice. It's a terrible injustice to deny yourself of love and to feel lonely. That's the worst injustice of all. Aquarius. Aquarius needs to make the right call. Woo! Wedding. This situation involves marriage. Yeah, somebody has been, and there is, like I said, there's a divorce of some sort. Yeah, there is. There's a split. There's also an opportunity for new love that could lead to marriage both ways, right? You're in charge. Oh, oh, really? Love yourself first. Your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive. Absolutely, 100%. There's no more words left to say. Follow your heart. Step over that finish line. Because where you're at now, this feeling of emptiness is, is not satisfying. You have an opportunity for true love on the outside of this situation. But it's going to take you asserting yourself. Good luck.